Welcome to Shortview Trading. It's Monday, 4th of March, around 9 a.m. London time. What matters today for markets? And in particular, if you're a trader of US equity futures with a one to two week time horizon, what should you be thinking about and focusing on? That's the purpose of this clip. Do like and subscribe. We'll send it to you as and when it comes out. Well, markets have been following their usual pattern over recent weeks. That's what they followed last week. If you look at this chart, you can see the S&P has been consolidating its gains for a handful of days. It trends sideways, then it breaks out to new highs. So buy the dip psychology has been pretty strong, only small dips in recent weeks. And the price action has been quite similar in the NASDAQ. Both these indices have been closing higher in 15 out of the last 17 weeks. Key leadership stocks like Nvidia have clearly been playing a role in pushing these equity markets higher, but it's not just tech. If you look at the equally weighted S&P 500, it's rallied up to its previous all-time highs. It closed just below them on Friday. Other indices like the Russell have performed well. So these are the mid-cap stocks. They found support at their 50-day moving average. They pushed up above their major local highs from 2022 and 23. And the rally in US stocks has been on strong volumes in recent trading days, arguably pointing to rising conviction in this uptrend. And supporting all of that, signs of plentiful liquidity remain ongoing with some pretty sharp moves higher in some liquidity sensitive asset prices on Friday, including, for example, gold up about 2% on Friday and now testing a key level at 2100. Silver also up 2% and we had ongoing gains in Bitcoin, which is up 5% in the past 24 hours. Elsewhere, bond yields were lower again on Friday. That was the case at the front end, but also the 10 year yield has moved lower and appears to have failed at its 90 day moving average. So the rally is broadening out across sectors on rising volumes and the uptrend seems well supported by plentiful liquidity. So the key question is how long can all of that last? Is this equity market going to keep moving higher over the next few days and weeks or will we begin to see that strength fading and reversing over the next couple of weeks? Well we answer all of that in our daily publication. In it we make a one to two week trading recommendation, long or short, on US equity futures. It's available on the website to subscribers. We also offer a free trial. If you're interested, click on the link below. We'll send you our daily trading publication free for three weeks. What gives us an edge as we make these calls on markets? Well, it's indicators like this one you see on your screen now. This is our technical model for the NASDAQ 100 designed to pick up key turning points in the index. You can see it recently generated a buy signal. It started to move higher, but it's not yet back on sell. So what are the signals we're getting from our other short term models that help steer our recommendations on US equity futures? We'll have a look at our daily publication for detail on all of that. That was your morning market hit. Do follow us on YouTube, search under Shortview Trading, join us on Twitter, LinkedIn and or Facebook. Thanks for listening.